Before I start, I'd like to acknowledge one of the key people who helped make this all possible. Mike Sutphin would not be able to coach uh, this team if it weren't for the mayor of Ottawa, Mayor Bob Eschbach. He and the city council have embraced sound floodplain management principles for the last 16 years, and it shows. Thank you, Mayor Eschbach. Thank you, Mike Sutphin, for everything that I've learned about sound floodplain management. This endeavor, our regional alliance, rose from the ash ashes of a catastrophic flood event in April of 2013. I know my district was blessed with beautiful river valleys, but until it flooded, I didn't realize how much. My district has about 100 miles of the Illinois River and 45 miles of the Fox River and thousands of miles of the flood-prone tributaries that go throughout. This realization is part of my ongoing education on the National Flood Insurance Program and the floodplain management. My office and my staff were overwhelmed as a damage report, one larger than the next, kept coming in. Touring the aftermath and the destruction in my district opened my eyes to the magnitude uh, I had never before comprehended. I was certain that if Ottawa could lessen the impact of catastrophic flooding, others in my district could and should do the same. In February of 2014, my office organized the first meeting and invited all community leaders. Experience clearly showed that relying on FEMA or the Corps was not the answer, but going local made sense and it worked. Further, by convincing constituents up and downstream from one another to work together so the combined and collaborative effort would be of great benefit to all. As an example, Ottawa could be doing a great job, and they are, uh, in their floodplain management. However, if those upstream or downstream from Ottawa were poor managers of their floodplain, Ottawa would still be adversely affected. The learning process began at the first meeting and continues today. Presentations were made by Paul Osman, who happens to be my classmate at Augustana, the Office of Water Resources, the Community Rating System, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the IASFM. IAFSM. I had to practice that at home, just so you know, several times. From the start, we organized the goals and objectives for our new organization. Our first goal, education. Have at least one person on staff become a certified flood plain manager. Every flood prone community should have one person who understands the process, the rules, and the program. Second, join the community rating system. This is no reason communities in our district, in my district, should not be getting reduced flood insurance premiums for their efforts. Third, adopt higher regulatory standards and enforce them locally. That's easier said than done. This is something that we need to do, we can easily do, all at the local level. Fourth goal, participate in organizations such as the IAFSM and the ASFPM. Something I noticed after the first meeting was the need to keep the ball rolling. Community leaders understood the sense of urgency that flooding will happen again. The areas upstream of our watershed are quickly becoming rooftops and parking lots. We wanted to avoid flood amnesia and promptly set the second meeting for the end of July in 2014. At the second meeting, the Illinois Emergency Management Agency gave a presentation on the availability of hazard mitigation grant funding. Ottawa has taken advantage of these funds to remove flood-prone structures and create a beautiful park along the river. I learned these were competitive grants. Those who wanted to apply had to be playing by the rules in order to be considered. Our group of communities had to have credibility. The Illinois Department of Natural Resources, Office of Water Resources, gave an abbreviated version of Floodplain 101. My understanding of the floodplain and floodway expanded tremendously. I was beginning to understand that each individual community must take charge of their own floodplains. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers gave a very sobering presentation on levee safety. 
it was becoming very apparent that I was not the only one in the room who didn't understand the complexities of floodplain management. We went through an exercise with all the communities present. Our objective was to identify in each community the number one mitigation problem and establish our hit list. I was amazed to find out that most of the problems were with wastewater treatment plants. It was disturbing to learn how many critical facilities are in the floodplain in my Senate district. We have nursing homes, hospitals, wastewater treatment facilities, public works, schools, village halls, and a police station, all inside the special flood hazard area. After that meeting and review with the organizers, we realized we need someone to lead this effort. My staff approached the engineering department at Bradley University to seek out a fellow from the master's degree program. Uh, my representative Montino and I currently continue to work to seek funding to pay for this intern. My intent is to build a model. This model could be the starting point for legislators to duplicate this effort throughout the state of Illinois and perhaps the country. Mike and Paul have already done a similar public meeting uh, for a Senate colleague of mine down south. Our third meeting was a combined hands-on exercise in classroom. The Illinois Department of Natural Resources gave a wonderful presentation on flood surveillance activities and the services that they provide during a flood event. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers presented a fact-filled afternoon on flood fighting technique and an incredible array of public assistance that they offer before, during, and after a flood. After Q&A from both organizations, then we moved into the LaSalle County Emergency Operation Apparatus for the hands-on portion of the presentation. We learned that the Army Corps, which is located in Rock Island, Illinois, has an inventory of portable flood protection for public use in an emergency problem. But the problem is that Rock Island District is a four to six hour round trip from my district. We're working on trying to locate that inventory of this flood protection in a central area in my district. So the turnaround time is much less. At our first meeting, I promised the organization that if the communities in my district were serious about lessening the impact of flooding and sign on to our goals and our objectives, that I would seek funding at the state level to support this effort. As promised, I've reached out to Governor Rauner and his team, and I look forward to working with the administration on good, sound floodplain management. Shortly after this meeting, Connie Brooks, who's the director of the LaSalle County Emergency Management, engaged FEMA to bring the Emergency Management Institute's floodplain management through the NFIP to Ottawa. LaSalle County is one of our lead members in the coalition. They've they have a certified floodplain manager. They have recently adopted higher, higher regulatory standards. They have, uh, and they're also a member of the CRS community, and they belong to IFSM. Nice job, LaSalle County. This past March, the class filled with a maximum number of 35 students to become certified flood managers, and there was a waiting list. This was a clear-cut indication that our alliance goals and objectives were being embraced by the communities in my district. I'm proud and happy to say that we now have 24 new certified floodplain managers in my Senate district. We now have an opportunity by collaborating with, at the local level to implement real, solid flood risk reduction strategies. My plan is to share my model with my fellow legislators. It's important moving forward that every community official, consultant, and engineer involved with stormwater and floodplain management reach out to your legislators. We can only do this as a unified group. Thank you again for having me today. I appreciate the opportunity to explain what we've been doing in the 38th Senate District for the past year and a half. Thank you.